Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Shariel. If you're new and if you're returning, thank you for coming back. Whew, this topic is so big because this generation, this era of women are disgraceful and that's the nicest way I can put it. And that's why I put in the title, Bring Back Classy Women because we are in a drought. So I'll get more into this after my intro. I don't know when this exactly happened, but if I tried to pinpoint when class went out the window, I would probably say around 2014, I would say. This generation of women are all about getting drunk, smoking hookah, sleeping around, um, dressing like prostitutes, and having a sailor's mouth, like cursing like sailors. And I'm not saying this to act like I'm perfect because I'm definitely not perfect, but I just grew up in a time like as a child, I grew up watching Claire Huxtable. I grew up watching Vivian Banks. I grew up watching the Brady Bunch and their mother, how she carried herself. It's just, I grew up on classy women. I saw classy women on TV. And that's another thing as well. I grew up with amazing women in my household. I always say I didn't have to look outside of my home. I had heroes in my home. So my grandmother, my mother, they are just classy women. And it's just so sad because the youth today do not care about their parents. They don't care about elders most of the time. They wanna be like the streamers. They wanna be like the female rappers. They want to be lit and term. And the thing is, when you're all those things, when you're chasing what the world is chasing, which is popularity, you often have to do things that are degrading to be popular, like twerking, like drinking, driving the boat, um, just being half naked for likes. And it's come to the point where women don't wear clothes anymore. Everything they wear has spandex, nylon, and polyester. Everything is skin tight. Um, I just got through with my son's graduation. He's 13 years old and he's moving from the eighth grade to high school. There's a few things I would like to address. First being the parents. Oh my God. The moms, <laughs> as I'm entering, I'm walking down towards where the graduation is. And I could not help to think, am I at the club? Am I going to the club? I looked to my left and I saw a parent. She had on a top that stopped right here all her belly outside and her stomach looked like one of the oatmeal raisin cookies with a skirt so damn short and she only bent over to take up anything. You can see what she's thinking. I looked to my left, I saw another mother. She had on a see-through dress with a thong on her. And th these are just, these are just two. I'm, majority of the parents was dressed like they were going to the club. Now, let's talk about how they dress their daughters. I swear to you, the daughters had more cleavage and legs showing than the mothers. One little girl, she had a slit so far up her dress, every time she walked, she had to pull her dress down. I saw another little girl, she had on a white dress, see-through, thong on her. And, 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 and I don't, listen, I don't want none of y'all come on to this video and be like, why are you watching them so hard? It was hard to miss. You got on a white dress see-through dress on your daughter with that type of underwear on her you don't put on what old people used to call it a slip or like a like um a tights or something on it so it doesn't show that up why are you dressing your daughter in like that to a graduation women don't even have style anymore they don't have grace posture really anything and it sounds like i'm beating people up but i'm just getting out how I really feel. I feel like because of how things are in the streets, you know, people like to say, oh, I'm outside. 
It seems fun to be careless. It seems fun to let loose and be however you want to be because for so many decades, or at least since the beginning of time, for such a long time, women were kind of sheltered or confined. They had to stay in the home. Really like the 60s, 70s, women started making their own money. And from there, I've just seen each generation get a little bit more loose when it comes to women. And it's honestly sad to see. Women are so beautiful and so precious. And when we treat ourselves like pieces of meat, when we just give our bodies away to any stinky man, I just hate that for us. I really do. Like, self-worth needs to be a thing. And a lot of people think, oh, it's empowering to sleep with who you want and my body, my choice. But at the end of the day, all you're left with is biting the dust. You end up with STDs. You end up with children without fathers that don't want to help you raise them. You're unmarried. Um, and people like to say, oh, that's not my goal. I don't want to be married with children. Most of the women that speak like that, they're, they're just usually hurt. Somebody hurt them. And <laughs> I don't want to seem mean in this video, but it's just like, it's getting so bad. And I'm not saying the men are perfect. These men out here, they need a lot of work. But because I'm a woman and I'm not going to tell a man what he needs to do, because I don't even really know everything men need to do to improve. But as a woman, especially if you're a younger woman who is not in the streets yet, like you're a young girl and you look up to certain female rappers, you look up to certain older cousins that seem like they're living their life. Just know it's so much better to be ladylike. It's so much better to be well-mannered, to have good posture, to look people in the eyes, to have class, to know how to maneuver in different rooms. A lot of these people that are honestly ratchet, they can't step into certain rooms. You miss certain opportunities when you're a certain way. And not to mention the men you attract. When you are wild, you attract wild men. You attract unstable men, men that make money illegally, that don't care about themselves and they really don't care about you and that's why you say you don't want to get married or have kids because the type of men you date or sneaky links you involve yourself with and it's just like it's such an exhausting life to live recklessly as a woman i want to live a soft life i'm not saying i don't want to work but i do want to have times where i can just let my man handle it there are times where I don't want to do certain things and when you're masculine as a woman when you're aggressive as a woman you will have a hard life <laughs> and people find that out the hard way and also when you live this ratchet ghetto life um, or just loose my body my choice life you usually end up single for the rest of your life um, nobody wants to be with you. You have a terrible reputation because you slept with so many people. But that's the tricky thing about men. Men, to your face, will act like they don't care how many people you've slept with or who you have talked to. But men care. <laughs> they, men of quality, they definitely care. So if you have a reputation for being around town, it's going to be harder for you to get a man. And the thing about having class as well, it's not to act like you're perfect or better than somebody else, but it just truly shows your self-esteem and your self-worth. A lot of the times women that are like the women nowadays, they really don't have self-worth, whether they want to admit it or not. You can know you look good, but still not care about yourself. And that's why you make certain choices because you don't care about yourself. You don't, you talk to anybody, you sleep with anybody, you make out with anybody at the bar it's just it's funny stories to talk about and say you were drunk but it's really not funny at the end of the day and also when you have children because we have social media now there's literally so much documentation of how you were before you had kids that even when you delete videos and pictures it's never really wiped from the internet so it's devastating for a child to see or hear about how their mom was even if you change after you have children it's still devastating knowing that your mother was loose. No kid wants their mom to be a garden tool. Honestly, it's embarrassing and it's cringy. And I've seen it have psychological effects on people that I know whose moms were always doing their thing, even though like before or after having the kid, it, it affects your child. So 
If you care about your future children, if you'd like to have a husband, if you'd like to just have a nice reputation and be able to be in certain doors, be classy. It's actually fun. I love looking nice. And the thing is, being classy is not like wearing a blazer like me right now. You don't always have to wear a blazer. It's just holding yourself to a certain standard. Nobody, a lot of women nowadays just don't have standards. And it shows and it's sad. Um, women are have much more to offer than their bodies, than their private. But that's all people are giving out now. And that's why the dating pool is so bad. That's why the internet is so trashy because it's really girls gone wild i just want us to know if there's anybody listening to me because <laughs> I, I know i'm probably gonna make people mad with this video but if you are a girl that's you know you're like oh i'm tired of being a good girl good girls finish last or you know you're, you're thinking about you know going to the other side it's not worth it trust me the right guy will value you and will wife you up it's honestly very it's not hard at all to get wiped up when you're classy because you stand out. So many women are classless that when you do have class, you literally attract better quality men and they're easy to find because of what's out there. And if you are a woman that you're living recklessly and you want to change, like you, you feel wrong or convicted about it, I th you really should. You should hold yourself to a higher standard because you're better than this. You don't have to be this way. Even if all your friends are this way or the people you grew up with in your neighborhood are this way, you don't have to stay like this. You can always level up. You can always have class. Even if your reputation has a little bit of dirt on it, who cares? If you truly change, what can they really say about you? I'm not that way anymore. That's what you can say to them. So really value yourself carry yourself to a high standard because you are different you're special and you should be this way um like i said you don't have to be prim and proper but it's about everyone not having access to you it's about carrying yourself with honor and dignity and respect and i'm and just like wearing clothes again i'm, I'm tired of seeing women half naked 75 percent no clothes so much mesh and see-through skin tight things that's not even going to get you the attention that you really want. It's like, it's just sad. It's just crazy how girls just dress. It's, it's, it's insane. And it's sad you would think they would consider, if you're dressed like that in public, you're going to see people's children and families. And girls just don't care. They're like, it's my life. I'm going to do what I want. And it's just a sad existence. And it says a lot there needs to be a lot of healing so this is not in judgment it, it may sound harsh but it's just gotten to that point where you can't say stuff nicely it, class needs to come back in style and i and and not this fake class that i have been seeing online some girls are dressing with bows in their hair and like dressing classy but you're still bending over in your pictures you're still having your middle finger up and your tongue out that's not being classy you can't dress the part you have to be the part you have to have the character it's about character with class it's not about how you dress a lot of girls are dressed classy but still are behaving like people that get hired for certain things and that's not being classy so i hope this wasn't too harsh and like i said i'm not perfect i don't People always get mad when you call out, you know, ratchetness, but it is what it is. It's too many sexy reds and not enough Claire Huxtables to me. And I'm tired of seeing it. I really am. Women need to wear clothes again. Women need to have dignity again. Care about themselves. Have true self-worth. Stop bending over. Stop sticking your tongue out. Stop sticking your middle finger up. I'm tired of seeing it. You need Jesus. You need to get close to God because he didn't create you and design you to be this way. And yeah. <laughs> so if you like my video give me a thumbs up if you like to see more from me subscribe to my channel i'm saying this with love guys but sometimes it's tough love and um share this with your friends thank you for watching my video you are appreciated